Good morning everybody, it's Mike with the 1973 GMC Motorhome. Just showing you the big hole that we've created. Pull out the engine, the transmission, the differential. You can see there's not a whole lot left. The other thing is, uh, last night, well my phone was charging so I didn't do any video. I removed the heater and air conditioning box. You can see that's gone. I also kind of stripped out the... The wiring harness and the wires are kind of in rough shape so I'm going to be doing a lot of rewiring this is basically what you're looking at is the engine harness and then these wires were just abandoned in the harness uh, probably have something to do with the cruise control I don't know exactly so uh, so we'll figure those out and what I'll hopefully do is if they're good wires I'll figure out where they are on the inside and I'll use them to replace uh, some of the added stuff so that, that all of the wires go through the harness so you could pop it out if you wanted to. There's a relay that's gone up there. That was the fan relay. And uh, I was just, when I was working with the harness, this thing just broke. That's that one that just looks, you know, it's all melted and whatever. So figure all that out. Really the only, the only kind of mechanical component still left under there is the power steering pump. And it's probably going to stay. I might pull the bracket off of it, but it's probably going to stay. So today, I'm not going to do a video of it, but I'm just basically going to be, hopefully be able to get a chair in there. And I'm going to sit down, and I'm going to start scraping and wiping and cleaning. I am probably going to take these cobbled battery, battery boxes out and see if I can do something a little nicer there. I'll walk over here, and I'll show you that box. So this is the heater box, and what kind of made that, there, there, you can also see sticking out of it is all the vacuum tubing that was used on it, which is in good shape yet, uh, and the uh, uh, wire harness that went with it, I kind of stripped that all out, I don't need any of that anymore, and uh, I guess that anybody that's going to do this, um, I dropped it straight out, you know, if the radiator was in, I think it would be a bugger to get it out of there. Um, but uh, with the radiator out, it was the time to go after it. That's kind of why I'm doing a lot of this stuff. I'm just going to bite the bullet, get it all done. So there's, uh, for those of you that uh, need to do this, there's two bolts straight up from the outside up into the, uh, up into the cowl. This would be where the heat came out for the, when it went into the plenum uh, for the defrost. And then this is around this side here is where the heat would have come out the body blocks off all but about two inches of that opening and that's where the heat would come out at the floor and there were five bolts on this side for five nuts that had to come off um, from this side so what made that really easy was also yesterday i don't think i filmed or i, I had done this in the last video but I'm trying to bump my head which i did about five times yesterday i finished taking the dash out there it is right there. There wasn't much left uh, holding it in. So, uh, but the dash is gone. And that man, am I glad I pulled that out because the, there was this insulation all kind of in there and it was all full of mouse droppings and probably mouse pee and just nasty. So I'm glad to have that gone. But without bumping my head, you can kind of see there's the opening in the top of the plenum or the top of the cowl where the... Uh, heat would have come in heat and ac would have come in and then there's like i said there's the hole that uh it would have come in for your feet and there's ways to with the top plenum there's ways to divert it over to here and uh over there for your feet i'm not exactly sure how i'm going to do the the replacement but uh glad to have that out there's the hoses for the air ride system and if i do what i think i'm going to do those basically all go back through the firewall except for two that are going to come up to the the gauge the level gauge and then i'll just have a new compressor and solenoids that uh, operate to, to add air or take air away and then we'll worry about whether i i when i do the rear suspension whether i fix the auto level or not there you can see there's the, the original fuse box. This is the added fuse box that somebody added to power uh, additional accessories. And you can see there was two wires here that they ran up and they come out up, up above the mirror in case one, you know, going to put a shelf up there and, you know, have CB radio or, or something up overhead lighting. 
something like that. So that's what they had done there. There's the majority of the wire harness uh, sitting behind. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that uh, might be of interest. Um, I guess the only other thing might be I did pull, I pulled the speedometer cable out kind of just to clear everything out. I want to run everything kind of neatly through the engine bay when I get done. And so I'll just kind of put things in one at a time and try and route them around. Yeah, there's the, there's the level knobs there that came with my coach and some tubing. These are the ones that went up to the gauge. And then, uh, yeah, here's the, here's the heater control. And then uh, the other thing that was still connected to the dash was the ca the switch and the cable for the for the windshield wipers. So uh, that said, that's uh, that's about it for today. I think. Um, hope everybody has a great day, and we'll uh, hopefully get back to it with some more videos when I'm kind of tearing this engine down. We'll get to that uh, soon enough, and then decide what I'm going to do with the trans hate like heck to have it sitting here and not rebuild it but man it worked good and I've rebuilt them before and put them in and had them fail so I don't uh, don't want to do that because I really don't want to ever take that out again so all right everybody take care have a good day